Question number one, if an intersection has a stop sign and a crosswalk, but there is no stop line, you must stop? One, before the crosswalk, two, 50 feet before the intersection, three, where you think the stop line would be, four, with your front wheels in the crosswalk, Correct answer is, one, stop before the crosswalk. Question number two, which of the following is used on some highways to direct drivers into the proper lanes for turning? One, flashing red lights. Two, flashing yellow lights. Three, white lines on the side of the road. Four, white arrows in the middle of the lanes. Correct answer is, four, white arrows in the middle of the lanes. Question number three. You may not cross a single broken white or yellow line. One, when to do so would interfere with traffic. Two, when turning left into a driveway. Three, when the car in front is disabled. Four, when passing to the right on a one-way street. Correct answer is one, when to do so would interfere with traffic. Question number four. This sign is a warning that you are approaching, one, an intersection, two, a crosswalk, three, a railroad crossing, four, a blasting zone. Correct answer is, three, a railroad crossing. Question number five. When the road is marked with a solid yellow line and a broken yellow line on your side, you may pass, one, only in an emergency, two, if you are on an expressway, three. If traffic is clear, four. Only at an intersection. Correct answer is three, if traffic is clear. Question number six. What are the colors of a sign which tells you the distance to the next exit of a highway? One, yellow with black letters, two. Black with white letters, three. Red with white letters, four. Green with white letters, Correct answer is, four, green with white letters. Question number seven. You may cross a single solid white line in the highway. One, whenever you want to. Two, if traffic conditions require. Three, only to turn into a driveway. Four, only to make a U-turn. Correct answer is, two, if traffic conditions require. Question number eight. Which of the following must you obey over the other three? 1. A steady red light. 2. A policeman. 3. A stop sign. 4. A flashing red light. Correct answer is 2. A policeman. Question number 9. What does a flashing yellow light mean? 1. Merging traffic. 2. Proceed with caution. 3. Pedestrian crossing. 4. Come to a full stop. Correct answer is, two, proceed with caution. Question number 10. A diamond-shaped sign is, one, a road hazard sign, two, an interstate route site, three, a school crossing sign, four, a speed limit sign. Correct answer is, one, road hazard sign. Question number 11. This sign means, one, divided highway ahead, two, one-way traffic ahead, three, four-lane highway ahead, four, divided highway ends. Correct answer is, four, divided highway ends. Question number 12. A rectangular shape sign is, one, a railroad crossing sign, two, a stop sign, three, a speed limit sign, four, a school crossing sign. Correct answer is, 3. Speed limit sign. Question number 13. When you want to make a right turn, your car must be 1. Near the center of the street. 2. Close to the left side of the street. 3. Close to the right side of the street. 4. Past the center of the intersection when you begin to turn. Correct answer is 3. Close to the right side of the street. Question number 14. You are making a left turn into a one-way street. When you have completed the turn, your car should be 1. In the right lane of the street. 2. In the center of the street. 3. In the left lane of the street. 4. 
in the lane with the least traffic? Correct answer is 3, in the left lane of the street. Question number 15. The driver's left arm and hand are extended downward. This hand signal means that the driver is planning to 1. Turn left, 2. Turn right, 3. Stop, 4. Start up. Correct answer is 3. The driver plans to stop. Question number 16. The law that requires you to exercise care to avoid colliding with an authorized emergency vehicle is 1. Brianna's law, 2. The green light law, 3. Move over law, 4. Right of way. Correct answer is 3. Move over law. Question number 17. You must yield the right of way to an approaching vehicle when you are 1. Already in a traffic circle, 2. Already in an intersection, 3. Going straight ahead, 4. Turning left. Correct answer is 4. When turning left. Question number 18. When two vehicles enter an intersection at the same time, which vehicle must yield the right of way? 1. Either 1, 2. Vehicle on the left, 3. Vehicle on the right, 4. Neither one. Correct answer is 2. Vehicle on the left. Question number 19. You have the right of way when you are 1. Entering a traffic circle, 2. Backing out of a driveway, 3. Leaving a parking space, 4. Already in a traffic circle, Correct answer is 4. Already in a traffic circle. Question number 20. When the car behind you begins to pass you, you should 1. Maintain your speed so traffic will flow smoothly. 2. Pull to the right and stop so he can pass. 3. Slow down slightly and stay in your lane. 4. Blow your horn to allow him to pass. Correct answer is 3. Slow down slightly and stay in your lane. Question number 21. In general, you should pass vehicles going in the same direction you are going. 1. On the right, 2. On the left, 3. Only if the other driver signals it is safe, 4. Whenever you have the opportunity to do so. Correct answer is 2. On the left. Question number 22. You may pass another vehicle on the right if it is waiting to 1. Turn right, 2. Turn left, 3. Park at the curb, 4. Turn into a driveway on the right. Correct answer is 2. Turn left. Question number 23. Before you leave a parking space which is parallel to the curb, you should 1. Sound your horn, 2. Turn on your four-way flasher. 3. Look for traffic by turning your head. 4. Look for traffic by using your inside rear view mirror. Correct answer is 3. Look for traffic by turning your head. Question number 24. A no stopping sign means that, unless directed to do so by a policeman, you may stop only. 1. Long enough to unload packages. 2. To avoid conflict with other traffic, 3. To discharge passengers, 4. For less than 5 minutes. Correct answer is 2. To avoid conflict with other traffic. Question number 25. You may never park. 1. On a one-way street, 2. At the entrance of a building, 3. In a crosswalk, 4. Within 50 feet of a fire hydrant, Correct answer is 3, in a crosswalk. Question number 26. This sign means 1. One-way traffic, 2. Intersection ahead, 3. Merging traffic from the right, 4. Highway curves ahead. Correct answer is 3, merging traffic from the right. Question number 27. Signs that warn, lane closed ahead, may indicate a work zone ahead. Then you should 1. Merge your vehicle into the correct lane when it is safe. 2. 
drive to the end of the closed lane before attempting to merge. 3. Understand that this sign is merely a suggestion and continue in the lane. 4. Speed up to merge as quickly as possible. Correct answer is 1. Merge your vehicle into the correct lane when it is safe. Question number 28. Driving in a state of rage can 1. Affect your ability to reason and make decisions. 2. Increase the chance of being involved in a traffic accident. 3. Lead to a revoked or suspended license. 4. All of these choices. Correct answer is 4. All of the choices. Question number 29. Which of the following may describe a work zone sign? 1. A white rectangle with black letters. 2. An orange diamond with black letters. 3. A green rectangle with white letters. 4. A yellow circle with black letters. Correct answer is 2. An orange diamond with black letters. Question number 30. On long trips, you can prevent drowsiness by 1. Turning on your car radio. 2. Slowing down so you can react better. 3. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. 4. Moving your eyes from side to side as you drive. Correct answer is 3. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. Question number 31. A safe speed to drive your car is 1. The posted speed limit. 2. Less than the posted speed limit. 3. Depending on the weather and road conditions. 4. Depending on the mechanical skill of the driver. Correct answer is 3. Depends on the weather and road conditions. Question number 32. Minimum speed signs are designed to 1. Keep traffic flowing smoothly. 2. Show current local road conditions. 3. Test future traffic signal needs. 4. Assure pedestrian safety. Correct answer is 1. Keep traffic flowing smoothly. Question number 33. On a New York State Highway, where there is no posted speed limit, the fastest you may legally drive is 1. 50 miles per hour. 2. 55 miles per hour. 3. 60 miles per hour. 4. 65 miles per hour. Correct answer is 2. 55 miles per hour. Question number 34. What effect might alcohol and another drug have when combined in your blood? 1. Increase the effects of both. 2. Have no effect on driving ability. 3. Reduce the effects of the drug or medicine. 4. Reduce the effects of the alcohol. Correct answer is 1. Increase the effects of both. Question number 35. This sign means 1. Highway changes ahead to the right. 2. Hiking trails ahead to the right. 3. Hotel ahead to the right. 4. Hospital ahead to the right. Correct answer is 4. Hospital ahead to the right. Question number 36. Which of the following does not happen after drinking? 1. Your reflexes and reaction time slow down. 2. Your judgment of speed and distance is distorted. 3. You are less alert. 4. You calm down so you can concentrate. Correct answer is 4. You calm down so you can concentrate. Question number 37. What are the consequences that can result from driving under the influence of alcohol or other drugs? 1. Possible imprisonment. 2. A mandatory fine. 3. Driver license revocation. 4. All of these choices. Correct answer is 4. All of the choices. Question number 38. What does a slow-moving vehicle emblem look like? 1. A square red sign. 2. A round green sign. 3. A diamond-shaped yellow sign. 4. A triangular orange sign. Correct answer is 4. A triangular orange sign. Question number 39. Drinking coffee after drinking alcohol. 1. Decreases blood alcohol content. 2. 
cancels the effect of the alcohol. 3. Has no effect on blood alcohol content. 4. Increases blood alcohol content. Correct answer is 3. Has no effect on blood alcohol content. Question number 40. When driving at night, it is most important for you to 1. Use your high beams at all times. 2. Drive within range of your headlights. 3. Be ready to brake more quickly. 4. Watch for cars at intersections. Correct answer is 2. Drive within range of your headlights. Question number 41. You want to turn left at an intersection. The light is green, but oncoming traffic is heavy. So, you should 1. Use the next intersection. 2. Wait at the crosswalk for traffic to clear. 3. Wait in the center of the intersection for traffic to clear. 4. Take the right of way since you have the light. Correct answer is 3. Wait in the center of the intersection for traffic to clear. Question number 42. A no parking sign at a certain location means 1. You may never stop your vehicle there. 2. You may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers. 3. You may park there if the driver remains in the vehicle. 4. You may leave your vehicle unattended for less than 5 minutes. Correct answer is 2. You may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers. It's question number 43. Blood alcohol content, BAC, depends on each of the following, except 1. Your body weight, 2. How much you drink, 3. How much time passes between drinks, 4. How physically fit you are. Correct answer is 4. How physically fit you are. Question number 44. This sign means 1. Trucks under 18,000 pounds are allowed 2. Hill ahead 3. Truck stop ahead 4. No trucks are allowed. Correct answer is 2. Hill ahead sign. Question number 45. When you drive in heavy fog during daylight hours, you should drive with your 1. Headlights off 2. Parking lights on, 3. Headlights on low beam, 4. Headlights on high beam. Correct answer is, 3. Headlights on low beam. Question number 46. Which of the following influence the effects of alcohol? 1. The amount of food in the stomach, 2. The body weight of an individual, 3. How much time passes between drinks, 4. All three choices. Correct answer is 4. All three choices. Question number 47. Which of the following statements applies to all driving emergency situations? 1. Always slow down gradually. 2. Your first reaction is the best reaction. 3. Think before you act. 4. Apply your brakes immediately. Correct answer is 3. Think before you act. Question number 48. After you have passed a car, you should return to the right lane when you 1. See the front bumper of the other car in your mirror. 2. Have put your turn signal on. 3. Have turned your headlights on. 4. See the other car's headlights come on. Correct answer is 1. Once you see the front bumper of the car in your mirror. Question number 49. If your brake pedal suddenly sinks to the floor, you should first. 1. Try to pump a 2. Build up the pressure. 2. Shift into a neutral and shut the engine off. 3. Try to raise it by hooking your toe under it. 4. Apply the parking brake hard to stop the car. Correct answer is 1. Try to pump it to build up the pleasure. Question number 50. In New York State, what blood alcohol content is an evidence of intoxication? 1. 0.05%. 2. 0.03%. 3. 0.10%. 4. 0.08%. Correct answer is 4. 
0.08%. Question number 51. This sign means 1. No left turn. 2. No stopping. 3. No U turn. 4. Deed or ahead. Correct answer is 3. No U turn. Question number 52. A chemical test is used to measure 1. Reaction time. 2. Blood alcohol content. 3. Vision. 4. Driving ability. Correct answer is 2. Blood alcohol content. Question number 53. Night driving is dangerous because 1. Some traffic signs are less visible at night. 2. More vehicles are on the road at night. 3. The distance we can see ahead is reduced. 4. Streetlights tend to blur our vision. Correct answer is 3. The distance we can see ahead is reduced. Question number 54. Motorists should be aware that all bicycles used after dark must have 1. Reflective handlebar grips. 2. A front headlight and red tail light. 3. Wide reflectors on the front and rear fenders. 4. Brake lights. Correct answer is 2. A front headlight and red tail light. Question number 55. What vehicles must stop at all railroad crossings? 1. Pickup trucks. 2. School buses and passenger buses carrying passengers. 3. Motorcycles. 4. Vehicles towing a trailer. Correct answer is 2. School buses and passenger buses carrying passengers. Question number 56. On average, the human body can dispose of the alcohol in 12 ounces of beer in about 1. 1 hour, 2. 1 day, 3. 5 minutes, 4. 5 hours. Correct answer is 1 in about 1 hour. Question number 57. If children playing nearby, when you are about to back out of your driveway, you should 1. Race your motor to warn the children that you are moving. 2. Sound your horn so the children will hear you. 3. Walk to the back of the car to be sure the way is clear. 4. Tell the children to stay away from the driveway. Correct answer is 3. Walk to the back of the car to be sure the way is clear. Question number 58. A bicyclist differs from a motorist in that he isn't required to 1. Obey the same traffic laws. 2. Signal all turns. 3. Report accidents resulting in serious injury. 4. Ensure the bicycle. Correct answer is 4. Ensure the bicycle. Question number 59. This sign means 1. All traffic turns left. 2. No left turn. 3. No U-turn. 4. Truck route to the left. Correct answer is 2. No turn left. Question number 60. A motorist approaching a bicyclist should 1. Speed up to pass him. 2. Proceed as usual. 3. Swerve into the opposite lane. 4. Exercise extreme caution. Correct answer is 4. Should exercise extreme caution. Question number 61. Drinking alcohol and driving is 1. A minor traffic safety problem. 2. A serious traffic safety problem. 3. Safe if you only have a few drinks. 4. Only dangerous to the driver who drinks. Correct answer is 2. A serious traffic safety problem. Question number 62. When approaching a railroad crossing that does not have signal lights or gates, you should 1. Always bring the car to a complete stop. 2. Slow down and be prepared to stop. 3. Do nothing. All railroad crossings have signals. 4. Increase speed to get across the tracks quickly. Correct answer is 2. Slow down and be prepared to stop. 
Question number 63. When you exit expressway and start to drive on an ordinary highway, you should 1. Check your tires for correct pressure. 2. Check your speedometer to keep at the lower speed limit. 3. Stay twice as far behind other cars. 4. Change gradually to the lower speed limit. Correct answer is 2. Check your speedometer to keep at the lower speed limit.